What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another training guide. Today we are taking a look at Kubo who is a beast. Now this guy was released as part of the trio of Japanese epic players that you see here. So we had Kubo, Nakamoto and Seto. Now let me know if you guys want Nakamoto and Seto done as well because they are interesting enough players. I do think that Kubo is definitely the pick of these though. Um, there are There is three days left to spin if you are looking to get him and if you have got him i think this is the ultimate guide we've got three different versions of kubo which we will get into just in a second but looking at his stats here 18 years of age they've been there's been a lot of cards released for this guy um some have been center forward some have been right wingers i do think that his best position is still right wing or right midfielder with the way that the gameplay is at the moment he is a bit of a unique card because of his creative playmaker playstyle. I am still working through all the playstyle videos. It's just taking a bit longer than normal. But this guy's card, I mean, straight away you'll be drawn to his player skills, his unwavering form and his acceleration, which off the rip is insane. 87 acceleration with 86 balance without even training up anything. And he does have 31 levels to go. So there are a couple of interesting player skills that he has as well. Double touch, cut behind and turn. He also has long range curler, one touch pass, which is huge for this card, and outside curler and true passing. So he kind of has it all, right? Now, the thing I like about this card the most is the fact that you can train him in a lot of different ways, right? We've had other, other versions of this card where you were kind of limited a little bit, but we've got three excellent versions of him here. So we are going to show you, depending on your play style, we're going to give you the ultimate guide to this Kubo card, right? So first up, we are over here on eFootball DB. And we've maxed out his progression points. We are taking a look at what I would call the ultimate SS version of Kubo, right? You know, kind of an attacking midfielder, um, really playing to that creative playmaker playing style. As you see there, you can see that we are going to be kind of like, you know, maximizing that and his skills for that there, right? So we've 31 levels to go. We've pumped in five into shooting, 13 into passing. We're going to get the passing up to 85 with the finishing at 70. It's not going to be a huge card for finishing. Um, this is more of kind of like a facilitator, kind of like just sitting in the pocket, using that creative playmaker style um, to make runs, you know, to track the ball and to get on the end of stuff. But the big one is going to be his dribbling and passing, which is where we've pumped in pretty much all his points here, right? So I don't recommend really this guy unless you are looking to try out somebody very different that has got blistering pace off the rip. You don't need to pump in anything to dexterity. We've just pumped it up to 92 with the acceleration. The balance is going to be over 90, which is huge. We're still going to have the offensive awareness quite lacking, but the rest of his stats are insane. I mean, 91 ball control with 92 acceleration and 91 balance and 91 dribbling, 90 tight possession, 85 low pass. With one touch pass, this guy could be an absolute menace because there isn't many faster AMF SS type players than him out there, especially with the creative playmaker play style. Next up, we have probably my most, I don't know what I say, varied or the variety of this card is really, really uh, promising as well. We've got what I would call your cut in winger, right? So the difference between this winger and the ultimate version that we're going to see in just a second would be dependent on your play style, right? If you're comfortable cutting in, you know, um, playing a lot of one touch passing, playing a lot of quick counter or playing a lot of long ball counter, I definitely think this version will be better than, you know, the outright speed demon uh, that we're going to see in a second, right? We've pumped 15 uh, into shooting, which is a lot, but it gives us 80 finishing, right? We still have dribbling, dexterity, and lower body high enough that we're going to be able to play him for the whole game. We're going to have that blister in pace with the 92 acceleration. The offensive awareness isn't going to be as much of an issue because we're going to be manually controlling him as a winger or a right-sided midfielder. We're going to be cutting in similar to how I would recommend how you would use Neymar. So you're going to be beating a man, touch and go, cutting in and then having a crack, right? Now the finishing and the shooting outside the box is still a little bit iffy, but I do think that they will change that with V2.5. So watch that space if you are looking to train up wingers, because I think it will be a big change to the gameplay. And last but not least, we have our 92 rated version of Kubo. This is the ultimate version, in my opinion. He's easy enough to train up. All we're going to do is max out his acceleration, his ball control, dribbling, tight possession, and of course the balance. That is going to give us 12 into dribbling, 10 into dexterity, 9 into lower body strength. We are going to play this guy as a right midfielder slash right winger. He's going to cover back and track back a little bit manually with that blistering pace. 
and we're also going to have the 82 stamina that has been knocked up with the lower body strength we don't neglect passing we do get that passing stat up to 75 that will unlock a lot of different stuff that we want to do especially with the one touch pass so that is my ultimate guide for kubo lads let me know what you guys think and i'll be back quite soon peace